Welcome to Ring Theory. With a terrible cry, the Balrog fell forward, and its shadow plunged down and vanished. But even as it fell, it swung its whip, and its thongs lashed and curled about the wizard's knees, dragging him to the brink. He staggered and fell, grasped vainly at the stone, and slid into the abyss. Fly, you fools, he cried, and was gone. One of the most epic moments of the books and films is the entire Moria sequence in The Fellowship of the Ring. From escaping Barlin's tomb to fleeing the Balrog with goblins at their heels. They eventually come to the bridge of khazad where Gandalf and the Balrog face off. This is the last time we see Gandalf the Grey falling deep into the darkness in Moria. However, he does return as Gandalf the White in the next book and film, The Two Towers. But how did this happen? What does this mean? And how did he survive? Firstly, and just so we know the power that Gandalf wields, it is said that he fought the Balrog for around 10 days straight, initially falling into a great lake, almost freezing in its cold depths, then pursuing the creature into dark, unknown tunnels below Moria. They then ascend the endless stair and reach Durin's tower, which is on the peak of Xeraxagil. There they fought until Gandalf was able to throw down the Balrog and it broke the mountainside as it fell. Gandalf then succumbed to his wounds shortly after. For those that aren't aware, Gandalf is a Maya, essentially an angelic being created to serve the Valar, who were the demigods of this universe. In the Third Age, the Astari, or Wizards, Gandalf, Saruman, Radagast, and the two blue wizards were sent to Middle-earth to keep the darkness and evil at bay, and aid those fighting against Sauron. If you want to know about Maya in a bit more detail, please re-watch the opening minute or so of my Balrog video for a bit more information. It isn't clear what happens, typically, when a Maya dies, because we don't have many examples of it in the text. We know when Saruman is killed at the end of The Return of the King, his spirit tries to return to Valinor, but is blocked. However, in Gandalf's death, something happens which very rarely does in the history of Middle-earth. The god of Tolkien's world, Iruiluvatar, directly intervenes. Gandalf describes his death in the Two Towers. Then darkness took me, and I strayed out of thought and time, and I wandered far on roads that I will not tell. Naked, I was sent back for a brief time until my task is done, and naked I lay upon the mountain top. There I lay, staring upward, while the stars wheeled over, and each day was as long as a life age of the earth. But that was not the end. Due to his sacrifice, and the fact that he was the only one of the five wizards who had stayed true to his task, Eru returned his spirit to his body. Gandalf was also granted increased power, in video gaming terms, he had a big level up. You will remember in the Two Towers film, Gandalf says on his return that he is Saruman, rather Saruman how he should have been. Here, he means that he has succeeded Saruman's role as the head of the Order of Wizards. Saruman was the wisest and most powerful of the five, but upon his corruption, ultimately fails in his task. In Gandalf's promotion to Gandalf the White, he is then essentially Saruman's replacement. Returning to the physical realm and what happened in the main narrative, technically Gandalf did die. He lay dead for 19 days before his spirit was put back into his body by Eru. He then lay there for a further three days until his body was found and recovered by the Lord of Eagles, Gwaihir, who had been instructed to search for Gandalf by Galadriel. He was then brought from the mountain top to Lothlorien, where his body was healed by the elves. Then, after being clothed and given a new white staff, the new and improved Gandalf the White was officially back to action in Middle-earth. Gandalf then learned of Frodo and Sam leaving the Fellowship. Unable to aid them any longer, he travelled to Fangorn Forest, meeting Aragorn, Legolas and Gimli, going on then to aid Rohan and later Gondor in the War of the Ring. In summary, Gandalf was returned to Middle-earth with increased power, 
in order to complete his task of aiding the free peoples of Middle-earth in their fight against Sauron. His increased power doesn't appear to be clearly on display in the following books or films, but was his death perhaps a blessing in disguise? Was his power up exactly what was needed, and without it he may not have been able to help in the future as he did? I can't think of any specific examples in the text, but can you? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching Ring Theory. On this channel I'll be focusing on anything and everything to do with The Lord of the Rings, Tolkien lore from the books, the original trilogy and the new TV show. If you like the video and want to hear more, please drop me a like and hit the subscribe button below.